What's up and welcome besties to a new Lost Caverns of Ixalan standard video. Now since the holidays are a time of celebrating, I've decided to look back on the Boro celebration archetype from Wilds of Eldraine but upgraded with some Ixalan cards. So celebration is an ability that activates if two or more Nullman permanents have entered the battlefield under your control. Now the best celebration creature we have is Godric Cloaked Reveler who turns into a 4-4 flyer when celebration is triggered. You then also have Ash Party Crasher who gets a 1-1 counter if celebration is triggered and Raging Battle Mouse gives the creature plus 1 plus 1 until end of turn when celebration is triggered. Triggered. So we have a few good ways to trigger Celebration and the best way to do that in this deck is with Voldaren Epicure which is a 1 mana 1 1 creature and upon entering the battlefield it creates a blood token and charming scoundrel if you choose treasure or wicked roll since that's also two permanents entering the battlefield. Now a huge upgrade for this deck is Geological Appraiser who upon entering the battlefield discovers 3 meaning that if it hits a permanent you trigger Celebration as well. And now the best card to hit with the discover 3 would be Godric since you'd get it on the battlefield for free with Celebration active as a 4-4 flyer with haste which is just awesome. Now this deck is also playing Adeline and Nympical since both creatures create a token when you attack which works great with Godric but sadly not with Ash or the mouse because both of these cards check for celebration before the Adeline trigger would happen. But Adeline is still a fantastic creature especially with the new card in T-Sennis of the Sun that we're playing in this deck too. And because this deck has so many legendary creatures that are also humans I can easily afford to play 4 Plaza of Heroes and Cavern of Souls which is a great solution to Boros's not so great mana base that makes the deck play a lot smoother. All right, don't forget to like and subscribe and let's celebrate the holidays with some Boros celebration. So. Yeah. Rocco's got plot armor. Don't let him get away with it. Pia is randomly too. Now, Pia is fantastic. The problem is, a Pia deck does not work if you don't get Pia. That's where the downfall lies. <laughs> like. That's where the downfall lies. Okay. Like, if a Pia deck could always have a guaranteed Pia on two or three, I think the deck could be broken. But the, it's just the fact that it like lacks that consistency so severely that it's like it's where it goes wrong we celebration yeah 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 do you need suitors no not really that's not really what i mean with that it's just uh I don't think it did. Pia should be a companion. Yes. <laughs> That's it. You figured it out. Mm, I don't very much appreciate these flooded vibes. I won't lie. Ayo, she could be my companion. Ayo. Okay, shit. We're kind of flooded. Ikoria to Electric Boogaloo will add Pia as a companion. <laughs> I actually really like the sound of that. Ikoria to Electric Boogaloo. Like, that sounds... Missed opportunity for wizards if they don't. Yeah, this is just fucked up. I don't want to lose my whole board. God damn it. I gotta do this now. I gotta blow them out. I'm gonna get lost this fucking thing and then I'm gonna like put Kumano out of cut down range and then I've committed with all my cards but I've also not lost my board so take it or leave it I guess mm. I don't know Blessing that they whiff. Sheesh. Actually, greed. All right, word. Three more points of damage. Okay. Well, instead of what, though? 
frontliner instead of what, like appraiser, Adlin. Like that's where the struggle begins. Godric, me boy. Uh, so I swing with the team. Kumano will trample over one. Godric gets blocked by Dread Knight. And then it's going to be Pat Battle Mouse. So opponents at four. Uh, I will deal three damage. They go to one. But everything also exiles, so I guess I'll do it. Well, one point of damage, and we still have four, three Kamanos left in the deck and three Epicures. So, no, <laughs> not you right now, not you right now. Uh, we cannot attack because they have uh, Misha's Foundry up, so. Nope. Not you, not you. We're looking for a Nympha call. We're looking for Adeline. Okay, it's getting a little trickier now. Blissa attack and draw a card challenge. Okay, Adeline no longer relevant. But okay. Where we got human? I'm, I just fucking saw it. Oh my god, I'm stupid. Okay, well, Adeline uh, does not do the trick right now. Looking for... Kumano, Epicure, Scoundrel... Nimbacol, Godric... Godric, me boy! I mean, I could still have something, but I'm gonna try. All right, there we go. Rough cookies. We lost the game, so I was like, uh, let's bring a little bit more diversity to the content and, uh, you know, spice it up a bit. <laughs> it's the only reason. Not that the cookies are bad, but uh, we lost and I was like, let's just brew something else too. For the people that have seen enough of the cookies. You know? I honestly thought you didn't know how to spell Chikorita Brutal. <laughs> the bug, my bad. Oh, Dotsy's bug. No, cut down. Shit. Sag. Ooh, an Impacol. That's premium top deck. Hey, Fisher Magic. Thank you so much for the raid. Hope you had a good stream. Chocolate favor. Torta is my, my, my bet. <laughs> my bet, take it or leave it. Which are pretty bomb. I've not ever seen chocolate flavor but and we're speaking about like the same like spanish cookie-esque type thing i don't know all right i will appraise i will appraise let's see what we hit eh, all right whatever Playing a lot of Golgari mid range. Nice. I'm gonna swing. All right. An imp call with Gary. We gotta figure out a way to get rid of that bat, though. Bat and Gex. Too good together. Too good together. <gasps> What's that? Oh, shit. 
Okay, now that's fine. Put two one-one counters. Wait, are they actually gonna buff up a Nimpa call so we have to sacrifice it? Surely not. They did? Wow. Five mana, get rid of a Nimpa call. Okay. That's fine. Holy shit. Yeah, <laughs> right? Kind of crazy. I mean, I don't know why it's holding a plaza, but fine. Inti! Some five head gaming. It's true. It's true. I'm just gonna go like this. Deep Cavern Bat and Gix are like so scary together. They're so good. So, so good. I'm always a little scared when I see that. Okay. Aha! Inti! <laughs> Woo! Give us a card, bestie. Gotta love Inti. Shout out to the real one. Now yeah, we'll take that for sure. Rolled. Probably have Shelly, I imagine. Nope, taking it out on Inti. Ooh, what a hater. Man, okay. I don't want the cavern. Let me see if I can find something else. Whatever that might be. Godric! All right! It's gonna attack with the team. Something gets removed, I'm sure. Hopefully not, but, you know. Yeah. So? Annoyance, most likely. Go for the throw. Bitter Triumph. Oh, they had to discard Aklazos. Wow, that's pretty huge. Yeah, I guess they had no choice. We pushed for enough. Okay, this is going better than expected. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. The hand's looking a little mid, even though you do have the Kumano into Godric sequence potentially, so I'll try it. Like, yeah, it's true. So, uh, you know, subscribe for Twitch Prime. And let's get closer to that sub goal. So shiny hunting Chikorita. A Christmas gift. Is this boats and bats? All right, mm, I'm in the trenches. Demir Boats and Bats is actually doing so good lately. Like this person stopped 40. Oh, never mind. It's the, never mind, never mind. Esper jump scare makes sense. Boo. How do you shiny hunt Chikorita? Well, we're gonna do it in a new Pokemon, which is like Violet. So we just have to, you can just catch them in the wild, I think. So, uh, Yeah, I should be able to catch him in the wild. It's easy to shiny hunt. Yeah, I think you can do something with those, uh, what are they? The, the like bread thingies and stuff, sandwiches, but I have never done that before. So it would be my first shot at trying to do that. Um, outbreaks too. Yeah, I haven't done that yet, though. So I'd be, I'd be a noob going in trying to shiny hunt Chikorita. But I think it could be fun. Anyway, yeah, subscribe for free at Twitch Prime. <laughs> Support the channel. Get the, Make the shiny hunt happen. I really have the movie night happening, too. So if you're a subscriber, join the Discord and then keep an eye on the movie night channel when I uh, schedule our, our next movie night, which might be Wednesday. I'll let you all know about that one, though. I mean, I gotta find a way to deal with Rafine because homie is soloing the game again. We hate you, Rafine. We do. Um, I don't know.
Yeah, I'm gonna get lost for Fiend. But it's like Plaza kind of prevents it too, but like, could they really... Okay. Okay, a word. Rat? <laughs> yeah. Hmm. I know, it's not looking too bad. And we also still have our uh, our lithmetic barracks in the sideboard. That could also help us out. We're in this. We're in this. Almost made it look like they were they drew into that, but <laughs> it makes no sense. Um, we're gonna go wicked roll token on um, Siskandro, I guess. I mean, if you're making it so tempting, I guess I will. I don't think I lose on the way back unless they have another Rafine. I survived Shouldered. Oh shit, actually Shelly. Huh. Or not Shelly, Wonder Emperor. Dang. Hmm. So they go up to six. Okay. They go up to seven. So battle mouse. Yo, how do you win? Like, how do you win? Tell me. Like, how do you win? The fuck? Yeah, but it's celebration. Like, you know that somebody that plays, like, a celebration-focused deck with Godric's will, might play Epicures, right? And we definitely play Kumanos because they saw the cards, so... Eh. I don't think there's an excuse for, like, losing that game. They kind of just fucked up. So... They might still get out of it because Esper Legends, without a doubt, is better than Boro Celebration. <laughs> Their card quality will always be much higher than ours, but it's a good lesson to learn uh, when it comes to, like, you know, high-level Magic the Gathering. Don't just ask yourself, how do you win the game? Also ask yourself how you lose it. And then you prevent stuff like that from happening. I'll probably have to, like, um, look for a land. Might have to, like, discard this. Mm. 
I got a Riven Appraiser here. The right word. I'm gonna just set this Godric up as fast as I can. There we go. That's still swinging. I could be like real greedy and do Battle Mouse here plus Adeline. We'll see what happens. They could also counter. But I saw Cavern, so I doubt they keep make the spear. It's fine. See, like now they get rid of Adeline. And yes, Adeline is a powerful creature, but also like. There's a Godric swinging in your face for five. Anyway, we'll see what they do. A double block? All right, that makes sense. Like, I'm just not... Okay. Inti. I mean, I assume they have removal for Godric. I don't know. Like, I'm, I mean, I was about to say, like, you gotta. <laughs> you gotta. Um, I might actually just do this and buff up the Epicure. Sure. This bet might help him stabilize, though. It's part that sucks. Bad grows too big. Rage, AO, could be. All right. Well, kind of destroying top 14 Esper Legends there. You take him. That makes 2-0. Well, shit. <laughs> what a hand. I'm going to I'm going to go for it. I'm going in. I might have to put that on Vampire. I mean, ideally I don't, but we'll see. Let's go. Ren Portal Mountain. Hey yo, what's going on? Hey yo. I'll put it on Vampire. The Ren Portal Vampire. Gotta be red aggro. Let's punish them for playing Thren Portal. I mean, there's no way it's just red. It's gotta be like Gruel Picnic Runer because if you play red Thren Portal and red aggro, Bessie, like, <laughs> something's not going right. What age did you start playing? I started playing like late 2018, like 2018 around this time. That's when I uh started. Yeah, I figured they were playing like a ghoul deck. Here we go. I've actually not heard this share Christmas song, but it's showing up like everywhere for me. Does it clear? Like, is it a banger? I need to land. Hmm.
2024 I mean, it's not bad, but man. Yo, Swoop, thank you so much for the three. Appreciate you so much. Thank you. It's true. Nah, we'll do something else. We'll do this banger instead. You already know I like the song. A classic, if you will. <laughs> what is this? Three appraisers? Which I don't hate, but I need a land. Thank you. Like, I'm not a hater, but like, damn. Here we go. I'm not mad. Just disappointed that I didn't draw that land earlier. This is going to get very interesting. They might beat us. I'm not sure. Thank you, David. Merry Christmas. Okay, they hold back with the 3-4 Swift Spear. Sheesh. Oh, this just wins the game. Unless removal. Uh, there's no way they can... Uh, I guess Witch Stalker Frenzy? Okay. I'll take it. Hey! Going strong. Remember, guys, when we used to play that, um... When we used to play that Hidetsugu, that Hidetsugu deck, the four drop Hidetsugu that's like deal damage to an opponent equal to the whatever like mana value of the creature or of the card that lies on top of your library. <laughs> Do you guys remember that card? That would be like the ultimate jank brew, but you could do it, especially because there's so much explorer now in standard. You can explore the fucking shadow of mortality to the top and then activate Hidetsugu. That'd be jank, but you could do it. I'll put it on my list of brews. That's not going to go well, but... Uh... Mm. There we go. And I guess you could also play like the other, like the... What's the other Hidetsugu that's like, uh, put a card on top or whatever, and like, when it dies, it deals damage equal to? The one that costs a thousand dollars from Neon Color? Yeah, yeah, I have it actually. Well, hold on, let me, let me flex on y'all a second. Ugh. I got like five on my desk, but, uh... This bad... Ooh, ooh, hold on. This bad boy right here. ta -da! When Wootsie still had me on their PR list. Back in the good old days. This little guy right here. Hidetsugu Devouring Chaos. Oh, she... Yellow Neon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Flexing on him. What's she doing again? Whenever Ash attacks. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Um... I'll just attack here first, I guess. Yo, no, thank you so much for the Prime. Appreciate you. Thank you, thank you. Pretty laid off all their PR. Yeah, I don't know. When they still cared. This is me if you care, we'll see. <laughs> to be fair, I have no idea how I ended up in this Christmas playlist right now. Like, I shoved it in the queue, but it, I think Spotify has like a bug or something. I don't mind, though. Are you there? We'll see. It's me, Ash. No, real. <laughs> Are you there? Okay. Seeking the beast. Yep. It do be a... It do be a... Um, picnic runner deck. Yeah, perhaps. <laughs> perhaps. It could be true. Please do sacrifice that little guy. Okay, they don't. Smart. Hmm.
Okay. We're gonna like a double uh, celebration trigger because Kamano flipping will also help towards it. Hmm, okay. Go off opponent. Ah, getting scary. Getting scary. I guess we'll take a... I gotta hold up that uh, Egonjo next, I fear. I gotta get rid of this. Maybe give myself something cheaper. Adeline. Adeline does the job because then I have two legendaries. So then I can Egonjo for one. Like, look at Auto Tapper. Are you dumb? Like, don't do that. Thank you. How did Gruel behave? We got all the way to like the top 60. Deck was fire. Deck was really good. Actually, surprisingly good. I mean, the cookies were, uh, cookies were doing it. Very proud. Our Gruel missed cookies. Okay. How about his banger? No, it's true, but I don't want to risk it. I don't want to risk it. Now, I understand how Plaza of Heroes works, guys. Don't get me wrong. I just don't want to risk that. It doesn't need to hold up Plaza. I just need it to hold up like white. Exiles, too good. Gotta be a vampire? I don't think we can do this hand. Seems like it's gonna be uh, awkward. <laughs> These lands are fucking weird. <laughs> uh, I think I got a mole again. I'm gonna screw myself over like this. Cause what, this goes on like mouse? No. Maybe? Like, you really just gotta draw right off the top and then you could survive. Maybe I'll try. Fuck it. I might regret this. Oh, more red aggro. blessing battle mouse battle mouse definitely getting sniped gotta be like a play with fire these are pretty mountains i won't lie rip mouse well it's very much hit or miss because the whole hand can kind of become unplayable if you don't hit red off the top but you're also like on the draw, so you have an extra way to like search for it. So it's not bad, but it's greedy. <laughs> it's very greedy. I mean, fortunately for me, it's kind of like working out here though, but uh, it, it do be very greedy. Oh, what's happening with them? What kind of hand is this? Put it on a human. I keep, I know it's like up top, but for some reason, my dumbass. Let's see what we can find. Monstrous rage. Well, all right. Can I win this race? I think I can. I mean, it really depends what their hand looks like as well, but I think I'm okay. Boys. Okay.
Gotta be as respectful as we can get, but I think we're in a decent spot. Ooh, did they for either they forgot to like attack with the foundry or they got other plans? Okay. So what I take five. Monstrous rage. Oh. This is me being greedy again. Geo appraiser for three mana. Let's see what we can hit. Get lost. Oh, uh. That's kind of like double edged sword vibes because they can use that to like buff up their own stuff too. Hmm. I don't think I'm really in a position to attack here, but <laughs> we vibe. Okay. Should have maybe just played the Agonjo and held the Soak and Solon also. Land Blessing. Oh my god. This How many lands are they playing in their red aggro deck? This is crazy. Surely not. Unless they're like getting incredibly unlucky. I feel bad. Okay, did they miss out on another foundry attack or is this planned? I don't know. Are what's going on? Why attack with both? That's a force block there. I don't know. I, I'm gonna just be greed swing with both. I think they block with a foundry. Just fine. And then make them believe that they have lethal and then on the way, like we have a Gonjo in our hand. Bessie swings. And then it's what Mishra Foundry on Mishra Foundry. We can resp can we not respond to that? Oh, I don't have white. Oh, that's true. Okay, that's on me. God, okay, these lands are so bad like this hand slaps but two plazas even though it gets online with ash it's though like it's like ah eh, fuck it <laughs> fuck it i believe i kind of like ikonja kind of like tilt me but it's fine paper plays also very true very true Okay, Ash has got to live, and then we're good. Hey, opponent's on a one lender. Hold it. Pause. Put a 1-1 counter on Ash. Okay, cool. So let's put her out of... Uh... Let's put her out of Lightning Strike range and... Uh... Play with Fire range. Damn. Such a close game and an opponent like throws it away on a one land there. It always hurts to see. I mean, I'm fucking guilty life. too, but you know. Best 10 months of your life. Yo, Ruben, thank you for the 11. Appreciate you so much for the prime reset. Thank you, thank you. It means a lot. Okay. Mouse and Godric. <laughs> uh, no. Where, like, you find one land on the top, you're flooded hell and back. Like, you can't do that. This is, um, okay. Sure. I got a cavern. So, at least with this hand, we're gonna have, like, the turn three Godric upon attacking flip. So, sprinkle. A little sprinkle. I was actually I'm really, like, enjoying Geological Praiser in his deck. I did not think I would enjoy that that much. Okay, I guess we're going for a value. 
later in the future appraisers and a dream oh fuck that's a squee mm. that's gotta get that's gotta be stopped i fear yeah i don't think i race squee i'm gonna hold back might just eat a play with fire though but hopefully not godric of their own shit it's giving classic play draw vibes classic play draw vibes i'm a four life already oh brother <laughs> and i have four appraisers all right just got a high roll i think that's a low roll that's a low roll no this is painful I, it's kind of just like play draw feels bad if we were on a play we might have won that one but uh yeah shit missing out on the two drop two was not the best because you got punished with squee that's gonna be godric in the air yep okay sure 